Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central. In today's video, we are back out at Family Dream Homes in Christmas, Florida. It has been more than a year since I've actually visited here. So, and I am very happy to show you some of the new inventory that they have. Today's video, we are gonna to be touring the Malibu. The Malibu is a three bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section, double wide manufactured home which is manufactured by Palm Harbor Homes. So with that being said, let's get started with the tour. All right, so here is the front elevation of your home. Uh, look at this beautiful color here. I really love the dormer above the front door. I love the transom windows that they would have. This blue color and uh, gray color combo is very striking. I really like that. See that? So this is how the front elevation of your home will look. So let's go take a look around the back. And as you would notice right here, you have your beautiful stained glass door. All right, so we are stepping inside here. Okay, so let me get you all a good look at the entryway right here. So we just came into the front entryway right there. Again, you have the uh, glass door right there. You would have your transom window. Of course, you have a space right here to put a nice entry table. And I really, really love the uh, crown molding in here. It's very nice. All right, since we're here, let's take a look at the kitchen first. Look at this beautiful kitchen. Lots of space in this kitchen. You have a huge center island right here. You have plenty of space for uh, four bar stools. I really would love the tray ceiling that they would have up here. I really like the fact that, um, that they did a two-tone color. And of course, this home would have the um, air, air vents in the ceiling throughout the home. So, All right, so you would have your center island right here. Now, as you would notice, the center island would be dark gray. And the rest of the kitchen cabinets would be a, like a light gray color. That's a very, very custom feature. And of course you would have your pendant lights above the center island area. Plenty of space for cooking and for prepping. All right, so this would be your uh, additional cabinet space. You would have a stainless steel appliance package in this kitchen. Let's get y'all a look at some cabinets here. You have these beautiful cabinets. And they are soft clothes. Get y'all a look at the drawer space. I know you all like it when I open the cabinet, so I figure I'd get you all a look at the cabinets here. I really would love the, uh, I'm not, I think this might be Formica, but it's, it feels just like granite though. And I really like the tile backsplash that they would have here. And look, there's some information right there. So, uh, adjustable shelves. <laughs> And then of course the decorative decorative back, tile backsplash. And as you can see, they carry the tile uh, over the stove area and as well as behind this beautiful European style hood frame. And 
You have a, sm a smooth top stove range here. And of course you would have your oven. Get y'all more look at the cabinet space here. And of course right here you would have your beautiful farmhouse sink. Now this is not an actual farmhouse sink, but it is a nice big uh, stainless steel sink. Really huge sink. And of course you would have your gooseneck faucet. Again, I really love the uh, countertops as well. Let me get y'all a slow pan at the top here. You got plenty of space up here for decorations in the core as well. And you have these really, really cute windows right here. You have a, a stationary window right here, and then you have these little two small windows that light up and down. All right, as much as I love to spend time in this kitchen, we do have more house to look at. So let me get you all another good look at this kitchen. We get you all a peek underneath the center island here. Alrighty, so let's check out the rest of the house here. You would have your living room and dining room right here. Again, you have all the uh, big windows. You would have the transom windows. Very nice. I'm gonna have a seat over there. I'm gonna get you all a general idea of the space. Wow, this is very nice. I can get used to this. Again, you have all the uh, natural light that's coming in. And as, and as for right now, this home is not even connected to electricity. So it just goes to show you how, how much light you would have in here. And I really like the color scheme that they chose for this home. It makes it feel very light, very airy, and very fresh. You can sit here and have you a cup of coffee here. You can talk with friends or you can talk with family or, you know, whatever you want to do. Overall, this is a very nice living room space. Very, very, very nice. All right. So let's get you all a look at the dining room here. You'd have your dining room space. You got plenty of space for a six seater or a 10 seater. And of course, you would have your beautiful chandelier. Of course, right here, you would have your uh, glass sliding door for your um, deck or patio that you would um, choose to add to your home. And this home even comes with the, um, this living space even comes with the uh, adjustable recess lighting. Get you all a slow pan here. Over here, you would have a china hut, a built-in china hutch. Got plenty of space for a buffet right here. Of course, you have space under your cabinets. You guys see that? And then you have little cutouts right here for um, champagne or wine bottles. Get you all another peek here. And again, you would have decor space for decorations and decor. And of course, it's also soft clothes. Overall, this is a very nice dining room, very nice living room. All right, so let's take a look at the rest of the house here. And then I will give you a price at the end of the video. All right, so this is your hallway. You have plenty of space in your hallway. Let's see what we have here first. Okay, so this would be your utility room. Look at this utility room. Get y'all a slow pan here. Of course, you would have your uh, soaker sink here. You know, wash delicates and intimates or whatever you have. You would also would have a space above that area as well. So 
So this is a nice deep soaker sink. And my, my arm, and it goes all the way down to my arm. That's how deep it is, you guys. And of course, you got additional space right here. You can also put like a, a couple of hampers, you know, to separate the, you know, the the dirty ones from the uh, the clean laundry. Or, you know, it's however you do it. But just trying to give you a, a general idea. And of course, you would have a window as well. All right, over here, you have space for your washer and dryer hookup, of course. And you'll also have additional storage space. And this house will actually feature a main shutoff valve above the uh, washing machine hookups. So if you're going away for the winter or, you know, for the summer, you know, you can turn off the water to your whole house right there. And of course, I want to I always like to point this out, but you would have uh, space right here for your uh, your water heater will be right behind this access panel. So if you ever need to access your water heater for, you know, goodness forbid, you know, it'll be right here. So and of course, you would have recessed lights in the ceiling, too. All right, so let's go check out the guest bathroom and the bedrooms. Get y'all a slow pan here. I really like the light tone colors and the wood floors in this home. Really, really love it. Okay, so before we look at that, let's take a look at this. What's behind here? Okay, okay, so you would have a linen closet. So plenty of space for your linens. Now, right now, they're just using it as storage space until the home is sold to the customer. You know, for the um, extra trim out and accessories. All right, let's check, take a look at this guest bathroom right here. This would be your hallway guest bathroom. And I like the fact that they have two doors. You have a, a main door right here. And you have another door over there. So, you know, one person could be brushing their teeth or doing their hair or, you know, you know, washing their face. The other person could be... Um, or right there, or you know, using the restroom, or taking a shower, and you know, everybody can get ready um, sufficiently. So it really, really works out very well. You would have a one-piece mirror right there, and of course, you know, like I always say, you know, if you don't like this kind of mirror, you can always, um, you know, after you purchase a home, you can always upgrade it. You can buy you like a really nice aftermarket mirror if that's what you want. Okay, so of course, there's your sink. Hello, everybody. All right, so here's your cabinet space. Again, they're soft clothes. I really love the rectangle shaped sink right here. And they have the same countertop and backsplash that they would have in the kitchen. All right, so let's check out this part of the bathroom right here. Right here, you would have your commode right there. As, as course, you would also would have a area right here for storage. And again, these are soft clothes. So you got plenty of space for storage. And of course, you would have your window. But of course, it has blinds, so you can easily shut it for privacy. So again, like I said, if, if someone's getting ready right there, you could close this door and get ready right here. Very, very simple. I really love this tub right here. I love the fact that they have a, the tile, the tiling separate from the main part of the tub. Very nice feature. course you would have your shower head okay let's get y'all a look at the ceiling right here real quickly so give you give you a general idea all right let's go check out the rest of the house 
All right, so right here will be your first guest bedroom. Now, I'm not exactly sure of the dimensions, but I'll try to do some research online. If I can find out information, I will insert the, the room dimensions in the video. Get y'all view from another angle. Okay, let's look at the closet right here. You got adequate amount of space in your closet. Again, they're just using this for, as storage for right now until, you know, until this home is sold to the customer. Just to give you all a general idea. And I like the fact that they have the ceiling fans in the bedrooms too. All right, let's go check out the other room. And then we'll head on to the master. All right, so this is your second guest bedroom. Get you all a view from another angle here. Go slowly here. Again, I like the fact that they have a, a window and you have that beautiful, uh, I, forget, I can't think of the name of it. That's between the window and the uh, transom window. If anyone knows what kind what, what that is, let me know down in the comment section. I would definitely would like to know. And of course, you would have your transom window up there as well. Again, you have a ceiling fan. Very nice feature. I like that. And of course, you would have your closet space here. We go slowly here. Give you all a general idea. All right, let me stand back and we can look at the space here and then we can look at the master. All right. Let me, I almost missed something here. Let's check this out real fast. All right, so this closet right here would be the space for your central heat and air conditioning or furnace. So when all that's connected, it'll run right through there for the whole house. All right, so let's go over here. To the master area but before we do if you are is this your first time here and if you are new here i invite you to join our family by subscribing to our channel welcome we are very very happy to have you here and please feel free to like and drop a comment down below and if you are a regular here uh definitely give it a like well everyone everybody give it a like definitely because it definitely helps with the algorithm of this channel and again, I really appreciate it. Thank you. And, and as always, definitely leave a comment down below. With that being said, let's check out this side of the house. All right, so I like the fact that you have like a little, you know, hallway right here that will lead to your master, master area. So right here, you will have another linen closet. You can use this as a linen closet or a coat closet. It's really up to you. All right. All right, you guys. So let's look at the master. So this would be your master bedroom. Look at this gorgeous master bedroom here. And this, I like the fact that they have it staged. It really gives you a, a, a general idea of what to do with the home when you, when you decorate it. So this is probably like a, a queen or a king size, but you can always um, put like a California king or a regular king size if you choose to do so. All right. Get y'all a view from another angle. This bedroom can really speak for itself. I really don't have to say a whole lot, so. All right, so let's go check out the master bathroom and then and closet, and then we'll uh, give a price and close out the video. All right, so this is your gorgeous master bathroom. Look at this. 
Oh, yes, I will be showing some decoration pictures to help you guys get another general idea of the space here. But this actually lights up underneath here, underneath the vanity, which I, the pictures that I saw online. So, But unfortunately, you know, they don't have the uh, electricity connected, so I cannot show you that here. But I will insert some pictures. All right. Again, you have a beautiful uh, counter space. You would have your LED mirrors. You would have your floating shelving. And I love the fact that they have a big transom window up here. And you also have your recessed lighting. Love the tile backsplash too. Get y'all a good look there. All right, so let's look at this shower right here. Look at this gorgeous shower. You would have a, um, I think it comes with a glass sliding door. I'm not exactly sure. But look at how um, deep this uh, shower floor is. Look at there. And of course, you would have a bench where you can sit down on. And as well as the shower wand. So you would have two shower heads. You have that right there. And then you would have a rainmaker shower head up there along with the two uh, recess lights along the side. And of course, your transom window. And I really love this uh, hand laid tile right here too. It really gives it a luxurious feel. All right, another good look at the shower here. All right, let's check out this area. Look at this gorgeous deep soaker tub. Look at there. And I like how they have it decorated right here. It really gives you a really good general idea. Look at how deep that tub is. Just to give you all a general idea here. You see how deep that is? Soak all your troubles away. <laughs> Most definitely. And of course you have that right there. And as well as your transom window. All right, let's take a look over here. We don't want to miss anything. You, of course, you have extra shelving right here for storage. Very nice. And of course, over here, you would have your closet. I really like this closet. Look at this closet. You have a nice mirror right there. You know, you can check yourself out, you know, before you go out for a, for a whole day or, or a night on the town. Okay, and you also would have a transom window that lets in lots of natural light. I really like this house. It really has so many uh, transom windows in it. All right, get you all a good look over here. Of course, you have drawer space. All right. And you would have the wood shelving right here, as well as the metal hanging racks. So you have lots of space in this master closet. Okay, so right here be your uh, shower glass uh, sliding door for the shower. So there you are. So there you have it. So, all right. So let's take, I don't think I open the cabinets here. Let's take a look at that real quick. as well as drawer space. All right, let me point out this area, then we can go figure out the price of the home. And of course, this would be your commode area and your toilet. All right, you guys. Let's go back in here. That will conclude the tour of the home. Let's go back in and find out the price of the home. All right, so this was a Malibu by Palm Harbor Homes. Uh, this is a three bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section double Y, and it is 1,800 square feet. Uh, the illicit sales price that they would have right here, or the rough estimate, is 
$256,711. I'll repeat it again, $256,711. Now remember, prices are subject to change. If you have any additional questions about this home or final pricing or specifications, the dealer's contact information will be down in the description box. Now remember, I do not sell these homes. I only tour and review the homes. So if you are really, really interested, you have to reach out to the people here at Family Dream Homes in Christmas, Florida. They'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. All right, you guys, well, it's time for us to move on to the next house to tour. Uh, I will see you all in the next video. So this is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you over in the next video. Take care. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye for now.